This is a brief demonstration of the SlimFit Elite uh, by Digiscale. Uh, here, when you order the Digiscale SlimFit Elite, you're going to go ahead and get uh, the scale in this box. Uh, it's a nice gift box. Uh, it's compact in design. Uh, it's great for wrapping gifts if that's uh, what you needed to do. Uh, after you take the scale out, uh, you're going to go ahead and see that the scale um, looks like this. Uh, it is featured with a nice, uh, modern, elegant look. Uh, it is a, has a glass tempered platform, and the, the platform itself is quite thin, as you can probably see right here uh, in the demonstration. It rests on a black hard casing, so it's quite sturdy. Uh, tempered glass is nice because it doesn't shatter if you drop it, so it's a good safety measure. Uh, here on the scale, uh, you'll see when I flip it on the back side, it's, uh, it's got four sensor points. Uh, these are also the legs of the scale, which is nice because it evenly distributes the weight of the food or whatever you're weighing on the scale. Uh, it has a um, compartment for the batteries right in the middle. It's very simple. Three AAA batteries is all it takes to operate the scale. Uh, the batteries come included with the scale. Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just show you uh, how to tear some food. I have a banana here because I wanted just to show, just for size comparison, uh, how big the scale is and compared to having a large to medium-sized banana. Uh, and it looks like this. Uh, I do that because I know some scales have a round kind of top, uh, which is which is kind of hard to weigh food because food hangs over it and it's too small. Um, I guess they have their purposes. But this is nice because it's both small but yet big enough to, to weigh um, most of the things you need to weigh it for. Okay, so the scale itself has two sensor buttons here. It has a unit button and it has a off button, which is right here. Uh, the off button functions as a tear button as well, which I'm just going to do a brief demonstration on. It has a nice large LCD screen here, which is quite clear. Um, and so it also weighs up to 11 pounds of food, uh, and it uh, weighs in increments of 0.1 ounces or 1 gram. Now that's the minimum weight that you can register. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tap the, the power button there and make sure that it's set to zero. Uh, it's important that it's on zeros because that just means that the the, the platform that you're weighing the, uh, yeah, the scale on is balanced. Uh, if it wasn't zero, that means it could be that it's not uh, a level surface. To go ahead and tear food, what you want to do is go ahead and put a bowl, an empty bowl, on the scale. And here we see that this that is 166 grams, this, this bowl. To tear food, we're just going to go ahead and put food right in the bowl. Uh, that will add uh, to the total of the weight. Right now it says 169. Um, and um, if I take that out, it's back to 166. So to go ahead and tear this, what we want to do is we want to put the bowl on the scale and go ahead and tap the power button again so that it's to zero. Uh, what it just did is it stored that 166 grams into memory uh, so that when I do put this these uh, food back into the bowl, it's going to just show me the weight of the food. So here we see that the weight of these two walnuts is actually three grams because the scale remembered the weight of the bowl and subtracted it from the weight of the scale. Uh, to get started again, what you want to do is um, take your bowl off and if you see um, these uh, negative uh, numbers, don't worry about it. You just hit the tap button again uh, until it gets back to zero. And that's kind of how you want to go ahead and reset uh, the scale. With these type of digital scales, um, any slight touch of the scale is going to um, mess with the numbers. So you always want to start with a zero. So don't worry if you take something off, uh, on or off, uh, take it off, and it doesn't go uh, back to zero. Most cases it should, but if it doesn't, uh, something happened, and you just want to go ahead and reset it. I do want to mention that uh, it has a unit button here, and uh, if you if you click the unit button, it's going to go ahead and toggle through the metrics. Uh, here we show that it's on, on pounds and ounces. If I click the unit button again, it's going to show me flow ounces. If I go ahead and tap it again, it's going to show me um, milliliters. If I tap it again, grams. So whatever your desired weight metric you want it to be, you just go ahead and hit your unit button before you 
you weigh your food, and then once you get to your desired metric, we're gonna go, you go ahead and weigh. So I'll just do it one more time. I'll just tap it all the way through until I get to uh, pounds and ounces, for example. I'll do the same thing that I just did before, but I'll do it with pounds and ounces. I'll go ahead and put my empty bowl on the on the uh, scale here. It says this time that the weight of the bowl is 58 ounces. I'll go ahead and tap out, I'm sorry, tap the button so it's zeros and then go ahead and put some food in there. And so this time if I didn't want, if I, if I didn't want uh, grams but I wanted ounces instead, it would show me that it is uh, now only zero one ounces, these two walnuts. What's good about tearing is that you can go ahead and add food at this point to whatever your desired um, diet is. So for example, if you have a meal that says, okay, you can have, you know, uh, three ounces of something, you can just go ahead and keep on adding stuff until you get to the weight that you want to want to eat. So if I keep doing it and you can just adjust it like that and there you have it. You have the food that you uh, the weight of the food that you want to eat. So what's great about the tearing feature is you can add and subtract food to your empty bowl, um, getting to the specific amount of food that you needed to get to. And I hope this demonstration was great. I'll see you next time.